And Lewis, please, guys. Can you hear us okay, Darren? I can hear you now. Thank uh, you. Pep, obviously a lot of character shown by your players today, but and with a congested fixture list, anything can happen, obviously, in this season. But do you believe that you have a chance of even a chance of catching Liverpool without buying a new striker? I don't know. I don't know. Right now, I don't know. So I'm not able to. We struggle. Our momentum up front is not good. So uh, we cannot expect the situation that we are playing much, much better than than the third team in the position right now. Like Southampton, there's an excellent team. So we can do another thing that maybe we are not the best teams, but make us be unstable. And then in the second half, you know, they may control, they arrive, they didn't create match, but we create incredible clear, clear chances that we could not score. And when that's happened, when that's happened, always you are going to suffer. And that's why I'm not able to say how will be our season. The important is game by game. It's the only thing I can do. And we can say we have one game left. Uh, and now it's, uh, go to London to play against Arsenal for a Carabao Cup and after, you know, play the, uh, the three games against Newcastle, uh, Everton and Chelsea in the Christmas times and, and nothing much, honestly. Just one, just one more for me. Um, you said in October that you tried to do a deal for a striker in the summer and you couldn't do one. Will you try again in January? No, I don't think so. I don't think so because uh, the economic financial situation all the clubs around the world is where it is so all the clubs struggle so we are not an exception go to adrian to jump please guys hi pep you've spoken about um not having the momentum up top with, with that in mind how important is what's going on defensively i think it's seven clean sheets in your last eight games how, how important is that while you're struggling at the other end no, it's incredible. Yeah, that is the that is the way. Still, we can be there. You know, knocking the door for the player, the teams that are above of us. So yeah, work hard and be solid. Uh, Ruben helped us a lot when he came a lot, and uh, he settled perfect with John. And yeah, we we need we we need it. Uh, we need it. Uh, to be disestable and waiting the people up front, they will unblock and, and, and one day maybe everyone will be fresh to, to score a goal. How have you found that kind of chemistry? Is, is it Ruben coming in? What's kind of been key to, to finding that solidity at the back? He doesn't make one single mistake, Ruben. He doesn't make one single mistake. He's always focused. Uh, leading he's he's able to lead to lead the line the same with john and, and that's why that's why uh, our club and city bought uh, an exceptional defender for especially for the personality so generosity to be involved in all the tales to that to improve and uh, that you have to build you have to build something from from him martin Butler, please yeah I bet, um, just on ruben there do you see do you see similarities to vincent company in the way as a leader no, take time. Take time. Vincent is irreplaceable. Yeah. It's irreplaceable. It was 10 years here. Uh, it was uh, incredible. And, and Vincent, when I met him, he was maybe 30, 31 years old. He has 22, 23. So, but the important when you buy a player is, is you're filling the house settle for the next years. And and we're pretty sure he's going to, to give us a big moment. Yeah. And, and just one more, Pat. Raheem Sterling said in the week that he'd been in to see you for a bit of a chat about the way the season was going. Do you feel like he's responded well to that? Uh, Raheem always is trying. Uh, Raheem has been incredible numbers since we were together in Asset Goals. And he won't improve. And of course, he, he, he struggled a little bit, like all his mates, not just Raheem, everyone's. So we miss goals without keeper. We miss goals along with the keeper. And with that, always will be so difficult. Season we will not fix it. But in the same time, it's easier to fix it when the results, you know, when you can take points, 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 and games, 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 winning, winning, winning. It'll help us to come back and the confidence will rise. Finish your silence at the end, please, guys. Hi, Pep. Um, how long do you expect Gabriel to be out for? No, 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 I don't think so. 
he trained yesterday, but he didn't feel good uh, about his teeth and the contact. He was not secure, and he decided no, no join us to come here to to St. Mary's. And you mentioned kind of lack of rhythm up front in attack, but it must be frustrating that you've had to cope without Jesus and Aguero for most of the season. No, it's not a lack of rhythm. It's not momentum to score goals. Rhythm, they have rhythm. They run a lot. They make a good situations. It's not about lack of rhythm. It's about uh, it's about momentum. For goals is something special. It's is the the touch, the flu, the, the the score of goals. And now we don't have it. So, but I said we are closer to have it, winning games, and that's why today was so important. Thank you, guys. Thank you.